Oi, are you frustrated that you've got nothing in your taco inventory? Well, our resident rat's here to show you every nook and cranny that the other chads are 100% missing out on. All right, so we're starting off with the dome spawn. Um, this is the image that shows the spawns and the routes that I take from those spawns. So if you came here for that and you know the spawns, I'll see you later. Um, this is the first room I call tech room because I don't know chess pieces. You're going to see all the spawn here, little icons are shot because it's a lot easier than me telling you every spot. But in this room you'll get graphics cards, tetrises, um, military signal transmitters, military cables, military circuit boards, MGTs, ACEs. But then you want to head over to this room and check all these little nooks and crannies and then this last lane will be a bit invisible so just take your time checking it because you won't see the items. They'll always be hidden. Then after that you'll check these last three spots for some graphics cards or tetrises and then head over to the next room. This one doesn't really have much, honestly. I just run in quick for a, a little peek and then I head over to check for the AK and then we go upstairs. Upstairs we'll get some good stuff like signals, some military cables, military circuit boards, sometimes tetrises and if you're lucky graphic cards. Um, I do skip some rooms in this but you will see all the required rooms in these runs and just trust me on the rooms that I skip and thank me later when you do these runs that uh, I've given you the right picks. But after we've finished looting this we can do one of two things. We can either go to this med room that I'm about to go to or we can skip this and go to graphics card room if you don't have the key which I'll put a timestamp for if you'd rather go there now. This room has a chance of spawning a thelmoscopes and lead X's and all other med spawns, so it's pretty worth for a decent amount. I think it's only 200k. If you want to go get it, you can get it. But after we're done with that room, we head over to graphics card room, which is probably the most contested area in the game, so just be careful because by this point, there's definitely going to be people around. But once you're here, you check these few spawns for a military circuit board, military cable, MGT, signal transmitter, that's pretty much, I think, all that spawns here. And then you do the little trick to jump into the graphics card room without having to use the key. And then once you're here, you check all the shelves for the graphics cards or your Tetrises or any other stuff you want to grab from these shelves. The Tetrises do tend to be hidden within the textures on these, so I just walk up to the walls and crouch and just hope that a dot pops up and and then I just look more carefully if it does. Otherwise, you can just take your time here. After we're done with this room, we head over to Marked Room. And in this run, we actually find a guy, so we cap him now. You don't actually have to do this. You can extract via the sewer extract or the dome extract with Red Rebel and Paracord if you've got it. But yeah, as I said before, this is pretty much going to showcase all the rooms so that you can figure out the routes you want to take because this map does make you a hell of a lot of money. So enjoy the rest of this first run and then I'll catch you in the second one. Now in this spawn we get the second marked room, but we ignore it because we go straight to the train station for paracords. These boxes can spawn paracords, and pretty much this whole place can spawn them. So just check everywhere on these spawns, especially these tables, the tractor, and as you see here, there's both sides can spawn paracord. can check the jacket for a key, but we ignore it in this. 
and after that we head to Hermetic Bunker Door to go check for more. Once you're in the bunker, you can check here for some food spawns and then you go check the truck for some fuel and the coils and then you head into this next room and you find more paracord spawns. In this run we were lucky enough to get another two. You can find a paracord spawn underneath the one that I got and on the shelf, but we weren't lucky enough, unfortunately. Then you head into this next room and there's more paracord spawns, but we don't get them either. After here you can do the normal route or you can just extract or go kill some raiders or do whatever you like. And um, yeah. On this run we get the closest spawn to graphics card room, so we pretty much just head straight there. Um, I'm gonna try something a little different for this run, so there's gonna be less of me talking. Uh, let me know what one you liked better in the comments. Um, if you want to see more of these right runs, I stream it pretty much daily. Uh, yeah, if you like the video, let me know in the comments. And other than that, try not to die in this time of Corona. Uh, peace. Yes, 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 yes.